morning. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. Um, my name is Joseph and today I'm here with Amy and we got Lindy and we got Gilliam and Kimberly. And uh, so it's wonderful for us to be here tonight and we got a minister. Please write your name in the comments if you would like to receive prophetic ministry. Remember our prophetic protocol, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 to 3, it says there, when, when you prophesy the word, must edify, exhort, and comfort. And so that's why when we prophesy, we always want to allow that uh, anointing of the edification of God to come out of us. Write your name and your last name in the, the lines and we will minister to you. So we usually prophesy every Monday evening around about 6 o'clock South African time. And then every Friday evening also 6 o'clock South African time. And then during the week... Uh, once every day I would uh, prophesy to 10 people and I just go over the comments of the previous videos and if someone put their name in the comments I prophesy to them. I remember about let's see 2019 the Lord said to me that over this next year people are going to need personal prophetic ministry and so then uh, we, we're not sure exactly how to do it but we started on Facebook and we started to prophesy to people and so now we moved over to YouTube a few years ago and uh, we've been doing this for a long time and we love ministering the word of the Lord to you. So I want to jump in. I want to minister to Stephen Ali today. So Stephen, the Lord shows me how he three times poured his anointing over your head. And I just believe that the Lord says that three times anointing is like a triple anointing. Anointing for business, but also anointing for family and anointing for um uh, ministry that the Lord is giving to you and I see the the word wisdom and I really believe that the Lord says son I'm putting my wisdom upon your life and so that's why the Lord wants you to walk in anointing and so you're gonna not through just business strategies overcome but you're gonna overcome through the power of the Holy Spirit Stephen the Lord is really helping uh, you and I actually see a footprint on the back of your head uh, and you're not on your back of your head on the back of your 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 back and I see how the Lord actually with his foot push you through into the next. It's almost as if he said, I'm not ready. But the Lord says, you are ready. Go for it. I'm pushing you into that next level, into that next realm where I want you to operate. God bless you, Stephen. Amen. God bless you, Stephen. This next word is for Joshua. Joshua, I just feel the Lord say, is saying to you, iron sharpens iron. And I just see how the Lord is really sharpening you right now because he wants you to be sharp. And he's giving you so much wisdom um, for relationships. But also, I just feel that there's a lot of um, counsel and there's just a lot of wisdom God is giving you. And then, um, Joshua, I just feel the Lord has has called you um, um, for for to be a forerunner in the kingdom of God and how the Lord has really called you to be like a leader and courageous but also at the same time God has called you for worship as well and to be in peace but I just feel the Lord is just reminding you that um, the Holy Spirit speaks through you and I will give you the wisdom for every task and how to when on the days where you got to be like the lion and the other days where you got to be like the, the gentle lamb God loves you so much Joshua God bless you Rochelle, my word is for you. The, the the word that I got is I saw like two of these long poles and you're trying to like get onto like the next level of a building or something like that and it, things aren't making sense. And I, I see how there's there was like this third long stick but it broke and now you're like, I don't know what to do. And I see how you start taking that third broken pole, that third thing, and you start using it to make la uh, rungs on a ladder. You know, like how a ladder has those little things in them uh, in between the two big poles and I see how the Lord showing you how to reimagine the tools that he's given you where I feel like you might be in a season right now where you feel like there was a lot of things that went wrong that um, you're almost frustrated with and you feel like oh I can't succeed at all but I feel like God is really going to show you in this next season how to reimagine the tools and the things that he's given you be blessed amen okay. Amy shall receive the word uh, this next word is for Karen the Lord shows me how how you are stepping out he says take that step of faith for for your healing for your finances the Lord is saying that he is calling you to to see not only the mustard seed, but to see the tree. The Lord shows me how it is going to grow. Your, the Lord wants your faith to grow like a tree that is so, so um, steadfast in the Lord that wind cannot take it down, that storms and waves, but you are 
firm in knowing that my God can do anything. All, any and all things are possible through Him. That is where your faith is. In Jesus, in His words. Be blessed. Hey, God and God bless you. All right, so family, uh, as you sit here tonight, I would like for you to write your name in the comments if you'd like to receive a word. Then get your notepad and your paper out. And as the prophetic words come, I want you to listen to the Holy Spirit and write down as God speaks to you. Do you realize when Amy give a word to um, okay, I keep you give a word to Karen. Do you know that word can be as much and as powerful to you also? You know, we have Bibles. I'm sure you got your Bible, eh? If you go look there in the Bible, you'll see there's stuff written there that's written like 2,000 years to other people. Okay? Yet you say, this is God speaking to that person and he's not a respecter of person and I believe God's word. So I'm taking that promises for myself. I mean, if God writes a, uh, a message to the Romans and say, you know, the sons of God are led by the Spirit of God, then I was like, no, but that's for me too. But you're not a Roman and you didn't live 2,000 years ago. Yet you say, it's my, my scripture. Now, in the same way, as the Lord releases prophetic words tonight, you can claim each one of those if you're just willing to believe it. So get your paper out and sit there and receive. And the Lord is going to speak to you. And I believe the Lord is going to release strategies to many of you tonight, even as we sit here and we prophesy. So Barnabas, what the Lord was showing to me is how he helps you to bring acceleration into your life. And I felt acceleration is going to come through prayer and fasting. Now, I know people don't like words that says prayer and fasting. You like the word where it says relax and eat. No, but, I, but the Lord says prayer and fasting. And I felt when you do that, it's going to bring uh, uh, acceleration in your life, in your finances, and in your ministry, and then even that intersections. I see how the angels set up intersections with important people in your life so that you can network. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Barnabas. God loves you. This next word is for Naomi. Naomi, God loves you very much. And I just feel the Lord has called you to be a writer. I don't know if it's going to be writing poems, songs, or even books, or even just um, messages from God. But there's just like this... I just really got, feel like God is speaking to you and the Lord says record what I am saying to you because I'm speaking so much life into you and I'm calling you to be a messenger of my love and my promises. Um, the definition of gospel means good news and God has called you to go out and, and speak good news. Um, but also God, there's a lot of good news that God is speaking over you, Naomi. And then next, I just feel the Lord has called you, is, is bringing so much hope for you and vision. And then I see how you're standing in front of this this blank canvas and it was like Lord show me what do you want to do and it's like the Lord is painting but it's like he starts in the corners and then he does these details and you don't see the full picture but I just feel the Lord says enjoy the now and, and seeing those little bits that God is bringing together um, soon it's going to make more sense but the Lord says right now you need to enjoy God loves you God bless you Christine uh, the word that I got for you is um I, I, I saw this, so, so the word Christian come, uh, used, comes from the word little Christ. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what happened is it was actually a mocking term at first. And uh, Christians literally took the name and turned it from a mocking thing into a beautiful thing. And I feel like um, there's been lots of associations with you. And uh, I, I see how the Lord's showing you how to redeem and how to turn things around. That things that might have felt like how do I turn this reputation around? How do I turn this thing around? Um, one more thing I just want to mention is, so uh, a lot of people think that Saul's name changed, but you can actually go look in Acts and what you'll notice is his name never changed. And I think a lot of times we're so dependent on, if my name changes from Abram to Abraham, then suddenly things will start to change. If my reputation just changed, but what you actually see is how when Saul changed, his old reputation was actually part of the testimony. And the thing that I see is, is that there are certain things that you're hoping to turn around and I see how God's going to use it as part of your testimony. So, yeah, be blessed. Amen, Christine. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Carolina. The Lord shows me how, how you are taking off your mask, how you, are, how you are just releasing it all, how you're showing yourself raw to the Lord. The Lord shows me how, how He's expanding like your, your secret place perimeters. Uh, the Lord shows me how, how your whole house is going to become your secret place as an example to everyone who lives in the house. 
Right now, the Lord is saying, I want you to go after me for you, but also for others. To, for, so um, they can see how, how, it, how, how easy it is, just how, how easy you make it saying, I am open, my children. I want you to come. And when you release, when you take off the mask, when you, when you break down the barriers, it is so much easier. But when you have barriers, you feel like the whole time, I'm pushing up against something and nothing's happening. The Lord wants you to know that you are going to be an example to others. So press in and know that He is open to receive you. Be blessed. Hello, Carolina, God bless you. So Carolina, influencer, bold woman of God, don't step back. The Lord has given you occupation of the land. Don't step back. Stand in the faith and in the promises that God has given to you. Oh, okay, Carolina, God loves you very much. Vicky, okay, so the Lord gave me that word about um, Melchizedek. And in the Bible it says there that Levi paid a tithe to Melchizedek through the loins of Abraham. Okay, it just simply means that Abraham didn't have children yet, but Levi was on its way, and Abraham paid a tithe to, to Melchizedek. And then the Lord said to me that in your lineage, in the children that's coming in your family's lineage, there is going to be amazing, miracle working ministers of God. I'm talking about like your uh, Smith, Wiggle Smith guys that did these incredible miracles. I just see how the Lord says there's going to be a generation of mighty, powerful ministers that's going to come in your family. And so the Lord says, right now you can declare it, you can speak it, you can receive it, you can cultivate the environment that's going to give birth to that. God bless you. Amen. God bless you, Vicky. This next word is for Alex. Alex, God loves you very much. And I, God has really given you a kingly anointing. I just see how the Lord has placed a, a crown on your head. And the previous crown you had, it was old, it was worn. And, and, and it was a good crown for the past. But the Lord says right now you need a new crown. Um, and specifically this crown represents joy. And there's a new joy and rest God wants to give you in this time. And I just feel the Lord says more productivity, but also more more peace and I just feel the Lord says you're going to see how his order and it's just a lot of favor and grace is going to be upon you the Lord says ask for my grace um, because I feel like in the next um, two years you're gonna three years you're gonna be very very busy but at the same time you're going to get more stuff done but you are in the peace and the joy of God and I just feel that's a gift that God has given you and people's gonna look at you and say wow this is impossible but with, with God all things are, are possible and that is really going to really let your light shine and people will give glory to God because of that. Um, God loves you so much Alex and I just really feel that the Lord is calling you really to that there's just a world changing anointing upon your life. The Lord says don't hold back come into my grace and peace and receive. God loves you Alex. God bless you. Jennifer the word that I have for you is I just see uh, um, I feel like God wants to remove the fear of retaliation. And I feel like sometimes we have this thing where we feel like uh, you, I, I'm, I'm just so paralyzed because of just, just I, I don't know what people are going to do, what people are going to say. And I just feel like God wants to remove that fear from you. So in Jesus' name, we just pray for that fear to break. And we just pray right now just for wisdom and just for boldness to go. Fun fact, so the early church didn't pray for protection, they prayed for boldness. So in Jesus' name, we just pray right now for boldness over Jennifer, yes. as you uh, to, to be obedient to what you're called her to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, Jennifer. Uh, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Janet. The Lord shows me how you are, how you are shape shifting, how you are, how you are that metamorphosis when the butter, the cocoon, the caterpillar, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly, and the Lord shows me how how these wings. Are really saying that my son you are going to take up space you are going to yeah. take up territory and and these wings they aren't beautiful butterfly wings but these are like the these very very strong wings and the Lord is saying that you have authority to claim space to say that that the enemy cannot work here this ground is anointed this ground is holy the presence of the Lord is here and I and I and I see how the Lord is really taking you on that path he's leading you into places into places where his presence where his presence 
is and where it dwells and also in places where he's calling you to bring his presence, to, to make a well that it will continue to flow. Be blessed. Oh, hey, awesome. Uh, Janet, you got quite a weird day. You have to go back and uh, just listen to what Kimmy says because you'll see there's some treasure in there. Oh, hey, awesome. So, Christina, I see how the Lord heals your back. I don't know if you got back or your shoulders or something gets, gets sore. Uh, then I see how the Lord is calling you to step into His rest. And the rest of God is a, is a seat of government where we sit when we surrender to the Lordship of Jesus. And I just felt that the Lord says, instead of worrying about stuff the whole time, give it to Him and start to trust in the Lord. And then the Lord gave me a word, your children shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't, know if you, you, I don't know if you have a lot of children. I don't know if they're big or old or small but i felt that the lord is just showing to me that they will serve the lord and that the lord will use them and the lord will even help them also to, to raise godly families god bless you amen christina god loves you and i just really feel god is really bringing so much healing to your family in the name of jesus this next word is for tash jane um tash jane god loves you very much and i just really feel that god is really using going to use you so mightily in the prophetic i just feel how the lord is really going to speak to you now prophetically and there's a lot of things um that god is really going to reveal to you of questions that you have but also how you're going to prophesy especially to young people people and prophesy um, the callings and, and, and also encourage them and speak the words that God is saying over them because there's a lot of death in this world but God is calling you to be a river of life to speak that life over people God loves you and then touch Jane I, I just saw how um, it, it's kind of like you have days where it feels like so empty and like there's no open doors and no opportunities but then it's like the next week and then it's like wow i have all these options these are all these doors that are opening up this is amazing and i, and I just felt how the lord says that um i am with you on the days that it feels like nothing's happening but i am also with you on the days where you feel like you have options of which door to go to and god is giving you the wisdom and the knowledge that you need and i just feel the lord says it's time to get new options armor the new armor of god um i just feel the lord is really just giving you brand new armor he is your protection he is your covering he loves you god bless you hey uh so my word is for martinez von sale i love that name by the way um so <laughs> uh, if, if we were here in person i'd want to ask you about the history of your name and everything but um, <laughs> but um so so the word that i got actually funny enough is about history so um there's a place, it's called Sardinia, and uh, it's, it's one of the, it's an island, uh, part of Italy, and it, historically, it has experienced so much war, so much things, it was literally known as the theater of bombing in like the Second World War, <laughs> because the people would bomb it, but now, it's the place with the highest life expectancy, average life expectancy, uh, for the country is 85, most of the main live upwards of, a, of 100 years. And the thing that I feel like is there's been a lot of challenges in your life and there's been a lot of things that you feel like, I feel like it's a theater of bombing sometimes, but I feel like the Lord wants to give you a long and a full life. And he just wants to remind you that he has a calling on your life and he wants to give you a long life. And in areas where you feel like it's just bomb after bomb, attack after attack, I feel like the Lord just wants to encourage you with life. So yeah, yeah. blessings. And then uh, Martinez, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Narin. Okay. Uh, the Lord shows me how 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 His He's surrounding you with peace. That He is bringing you peace. That when you walk into um, a storm or even just something that you think this this is really big, receive His peace. Especially because the Lord is saying that when you don't have peace, not all not. This is for anybody, not always, not always. Your decisions aren't always the best decisions because it is, it is hard to make a good decision when we are, when we are in, under so much pressure. Um, but the Lord is saying, come into my peace and don't push away the pressure, but with me, figure out the solution. The Lord is giving you that solution. He is giving you the mind of Christ that you can have that peace and that you can have that clarity and that it doesn't need to be a world run all the time. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Narinda, God bless you. Uh, family, I want to encourage you. If you 
I have a prayer request, just write there in the comments, say, hey guys, I really need prayer, I need support here. We love each other. And so the more we love each other, the more of the glory of God is there and the more we can minister to one another. So I want to encourage you, if you see someone in the comments right there, I need pray. Just take a minute and pray for the person. You know, it's, it's very interesting. Uh, young Clayton talks about a cycle of glory. And he says what happens when I love someone, that someone loves the next person, the next person loves the next person. And what happens every time the glory of God is being is on display. And so the more we love each other, the more there's just this massive portal of glory that opens up. So one of the things that we don't think about is in Acts um, chapter 2. When all the, the apostles or disciples, they were there, 120 in the upper room waiting for God. They came out of three years of Jesus. And Jesus' whole life is about we love each other. Mm -hmm. And so they were loving each other so much. And they were such a... A glory there just because they loved each other and then the events of course opened up and everybody was filled with the Holy Spirit and it was just amazing so that's why when we minister like this don't think oh I'm gonna get a prophetic word oh I want a prophetic word no 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 you must think I love everybody that's what the thoughts in your brain must be I love everyone that's online I love the person that's prophesying to me I love the person that's asking for prayer because when we love each other that's when we open up that, that portal for the glory of God then the Lord can move alright so and I want to say to you I love you and I love each one I love uh, even Gilliam yeah no? and that's, and that's amazing that. huh? yeah. <laughs> I like you yeah, yeah and I love yeah I, I love every single one, and even uh, Lenny, if I don't always say your name the right way, no. It's Laura, thank you. Uh, I'm just kidding, no, it is Lenny. <laughs> uh, anyway, so they, yeah, after a while, I'm not going to know what's your name anymore. Okay, so Kushi, I want to give you a word. And Kushi, this word that I'm giving you is not only for you, but it's also for my daughter, Amy, that's sitting right next to me. I just felt this exact same, same uh, one word for two people. So the Lord showed me David. How he's in the pasture and he's with the sheep and he sometimes has to kill the lion and he has to kill the bear. Uh, but he is in worship and in the presence of God is engaging the Lord and he's writing music. And I just see how the Lord is saying to you because he, you're going to write many, many songs. Now, I think David wrote over a hundred psalms. And I'm sure there's a lot of psalms that didn't make it onto the album that also <laughs> that he also wrote. You know, I mean, let's say he was a few years there. Maybe he wrote every second day a song. Not every single one made it into the Psalms, but a, a big portion of them maybe made. I don't know what's the ratio. But what the Lord showed me is David didn't sit, sit there in the, she, in the pasture and he's trying to write a, a hit. He's like, you know what, I'm going to write a hit. And now he writes his hit. No, no, no. What he did, he just opened up his emotions and his heart before the Lord. And he said to the Lord, Lord, this is how I feel right now. This is who I am. This is where I am in my life. And then he sang out of his heart. And then when people read the Psalms, you don't think, oh, David, eat a hit. Wow, this is like, mm, this is going to hit number one. You don't think like it. You think, wow, this is where David was. This is the emotions that he was going through. And I'm going through the same thing so I can identify with that. And I felt that is what the ministry is that the Lord is giving to you. He wants to bring that softer side on the inside of you. So that can come out. So people can be relate and they can come into the kingdom. Because I hope you, you write music. But I, I literally saw you write, write music. God bless you. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> God bless you, Kushi. Um, all right, this next word is for Kitsia. I just, I just want to say whatever, um, what, what Dad was saying um, about loving people it really conquers all fear so mm -hmm. just love this next word is for um Ketsia. Ketsia, god loves you very much and i i just really feel that there is such an you have such an obedience and that obedience brings favor and victory to your life so i feel the lord says keep on being obedient keep on walking and with honor because that's going to give you a long i just feel the lord says as a promise that you will live a long life um because of that honor um and then the, the next picture I saw, so you know when, um, obviously when you, when you get into a situation, right, and then you get like a lot of adrenaline, and, and, I, and I had the experience
sense of it and I had to, I, I, I just I just knew what to do and I was like I was really like working really hard I'm like okay making sure everything's okay with with that adrenaline and then it was kind of like I think it was like a week later and then it like really hits me of what happened and then it was like everything was fine but the, the thing was it's, it's when God is with us in situations then there's a lot of adrenaline and it's like okay he's with us for, for it and that's a lot of strength but I feel that that there was a lot of things that happened recently that God gave you strength for that you really acted and you were brave but I just feel the Lord is now taking you to a time where you're not going to crash but you are going to receive his healing and his embrace the Lord says come to me let me comfort you and love you um, and for this time so that you don't crash and that you don't um, so it so I just, I just feel the Lord says he wants to hold you right now um, he loves you very very much and I, I really feel that there is such a beautiful prophetic and just like a worship calling upon your life god loves you god bless you also my word is for darsan i'm darsan uh, i don't know if i'm pronouncing darsan. it yeah, darsan. Darsan. Awesome. Yeah, i got it right the first time i <laughs> <laughs> love it okay you cool. guys have to say it's been, <laughs> yeah. it's been years <laughs> yeah there we go um so so the the word darsan that i got for you was um so, so there's there's a saying where you can tell the difference between a warrior and a coward by which side of their face the scars are on, um, because <laughs> the coward's always running away, so the scars are in the back of the head, whereas uh, the warrior's scars in the front because they face the problem head on. And I feel like there are sometimes where you feel like I have a lot of facial scars, a lot of things from standing, and I feel like the Lord's made you a warrior, and that means standing and defending. Um, and it's not violence for the sake of violence, but it's I'm here to protect the resources and the people that God's placed in my life. And I feel like God just wants to affirm your identity and he wants to affirm and remind you that he's made you a warrior. And that in sometimes where you feel like, I feel like all these fights are picking me. I just want to encourage you that the Lord is your protector just as you protect the things that he's placed under your guard. Be blessed. Yay. Um, Emma, uh, Darshan, please leave us a comment. I just want to let everyone know that we are recording. If there is any glitching or bad sound, we are recording, so do not stress. Uh, before I give a word to Miss Natalia, the Lord just placed on my heart, uh, Carrie, your name is not on the list tonight, but the Lord just shows me how, how you are on his heart at all times. The Lord shows me how he is pressing on you a, a newness, something that he wants you to release in the, and I see how that pressure you feel like this is this is this is this is a lot but the Lord says that I'm taking you into somewhere new new territory so do not fear lean on me because this is of me okay be blessed uh, Carrie this um, now I'm going to prophesy to Natalia the Lord shows me that your walk with him that when you walk with him is the most growth that you will have like even in your entire day no amount of, of studying or amount of you know um, knowing the right people the Lord shows me how when when you are spending time with him you are growing the most even if it's only five minutes or or ten minutes but the Lord is really wanting you to extend that time that is when you grow you grow in confidence you grow in authority you grow in peace with the Lord, we cannot. He has cre He has created us to be with Him. You cannot grow um, in in the right way if you are not spending time with Him. So walk with Him. Really walk with Him. Be blessed. Hello, uh, Natalia. God bless you. His hand is upon your life. So, uh, Natalia, I just felt that the Lord says one season is over, and so it doesn't help to moan and groan about how hard that season was. You have to enjoy the new season where you are. You know, uh, I, it's, it's always the funniest thing to me. People move to a new area and then they try so hard to keep in contact with all their friends from the previous area. But they're supposed to make friends in a new area. And it is so big effort to drive back the whole time and try to make friends with them. But I felt that the Lord says, these, these friends, these place, these uh, opportunities for every season. And so the Lord says, Take hold of the opportunity in the new season where you are. All right. So that's that's what I see. I tell you, God bless you. Okay. So Marcel. All right. So uh, the Lord's hand is really upon you, Marcel. And I and I just see uh, how you travel and you 
just get a new perspective. Now sometimes when we go on a holiday or we just drive somewhere, we go and minister at a different place, it's just as if your brain opens up and you just get new perspective and you get out of that old mindset, that old rat, that old way of doing things. And I felt that the Lord says, Daughter, I want to give you... Marcel is... There's a lady now. I don't think so. Marcel... Marcel, it's a guy. It's a man. Uh, okay, so uh, Marcel... I'm not sure if you're a man or a woman. Everybody here say man. Okay, so, but Marcel doesn't matter. God knows who you are. So <laughs> let, let me rather just stick with that. Mm -hmm. I just felt the Lord is giving you new perspective. Now, I, I'll, I'll tell you how I saw it. I saw blueprints that he puts into you. So it's like almost like it goes into your heart desire. And then out of that hard desire, you start thinking thoughts and you get ideas and you think, oh, wow, I got this idea, I got this strategy. And it's all part of the new perspective that God gives to you. God bless you. Hey, Minx, Marcel, God loves you so much. God bless you. I, I just saw a picture of how the Lord is really giving you fire. It's like this fiery sword and shield. I just feel the Lord is just placing you just like this ring of fire like that he put around the Israelites before they um, crossed the Red Sea. God bless you, Marcel. God loves you. This next word is for... Um, um, Saru, 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 God loves you so much. Um, I, I just really feel the Lord is moving you and it's like he's taking your hand and you guys are going. And I, and I just feel the Lord says there, there's a lot of things that are in your life that you felt like this is too slow. Um, why? And, and I just feel there are some things that God says, my perfect timing, but there are other areas that there's a reason why your heart is feeling this is way too slow. And I just feel the Lord says, pray into it. And I will give you also like the wisdom um, of how how do you solve this how do you go forward because of the, there's a, I feel like there's like you're walking this road but it's like like a tree has fallen and then you're like walking and then all of a sudden this is in the way and there's like this big puddle and I just feel these are like a lot of obstacles that are slowing you down and I just feel the Lord is really giving you answers of how to solve those problems there are a lot of things that we need patience for but in this area I just feel the Lord says pray for why is this going like this God loves you and then just last one more thing i just feel the lord is really um bringing back so much more love and joy into your life it was like your heart is hardened but i just feel the lord is really giving you a new heart um and he's saying i'm going to protect you and then joy don't let the enemy put a cloud of a depression over your life um the lord has given you a gift of joy and he loves you so much god bless you Awesome. Uh, my word is for Sharad. Uh, Sharad, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but here we go. Um, the, the word of the thing that I felt was, I, I saw this, um, this compass, and I saw how the compass wasn't giving you the direction because it was like spinning, but the reason why is because there was something magnetic in the area. And um, I, I feel like sometimes it, it might feel like, yo, I'm having such a hard time hearing God's voice. I have such a hard time. And the thing that I feel like God's saying, this is weird, is... You need a new compass, meaning <laughs> sometimes uh, the criteria that we use to figure out, is this God, is this not God, whatever. Um, sometimes there's a flaw in that, and that makes it so that we have a hard time figuring out directions. Not that God's unclear, it's that there's something wrong with our compass. True north never changes. It's literally just... Sometimes our compass needs an upgrade and I feel like God wants to upgrade your compass I want to encourage you to go back to God's Word mm -hmm. to reconsider how your compass is functioning and uh, Yeah, I just pray for God's grace for you in this journey. Blessings Amen I can't remember how it comes. Be blessed, Sherard <laughs> Please, <laughs> please be blessed. Please, please uh, And write us a comment. This next word is for Yosef. The Lord says sing my anthem how when people live in like whichever country or place they live in, they will learn the anthem and they will sing it so proudly because it is it is almost like how it I see how it like lifts up the nation when everybody sings this in unity and I hear the Lord saying, Sing my anthem, lift my name up, not yours, not not your not your ministries, but his name. And the Lord shows me that the first will be lost and the last will be first. He wants you to be a servant, someone who declares his word and sings his songs. 
And the Lord shows me how, how you have to get out of your own way, that you release the Holy Spirit, that, that when you are working, when you are doing the Lord's work, that you mean business because you are a partner, you are, you are partnering with Him to release something amazing that will save somebody's life. Be blessed. Hey, Yosef, God loves you very, very much. Uh, you are a strong man. So, uh, Yosef, I don't know if you um, are a blacksmith, but I just see how you uh, have a blacksmith hammer and you're praying in tongues and it's the fire and you're just making that armor. And you know the armor of God is around us. It's our faith. It's that helmet of salvation. It's the sword of the spirit. Uh, it's the belt of truth. And uh, everybody <laughs> say, you know, the way you put on the armor, you just say, I put on that helmet and I put on that uh, shield of faith and now suddenly I got all the, the armor that I need. But you know how you build the armor, you read the word, you confess it over your life, wow. you build faith in your life, you get the sword of the spirit inside of you, you use that sword, you get, you know, it's, it's, I mean, you build the armor, it's not just like a, uh, like a parrot, you say it and now suddenly you got it on miraculously, it's like you get into the word and you build it, and I see like you're a blacksmith, and you're just hitting and you're building that armor and you're putting it on, and so the Lord is just really strengthening you. Okay, Joseph, that's your word, so Yulani, so Yulani, uh, I, I just want to give you, uh, um, what do you call, that, that small print that I always give. Um, disclaimer. That disclaimer, okay. Uh, I literally never prophesy to anybody about bees. I don't get words about bees. But now, last time I remember I prophesied about the bees. Here we go again, second time about the bees. So I see how the Lord gives you a big thing of lavender, okay. Now, we got lavender here at our house. That's We got like a little line of lavender and... You know, this, I, I love lavender, so I've always planted lavender wherever we went. And But what lavender does, it attracts a lot of bees. And I felt what the Lord says, He's giving you the lavender, but then with the lavender comes the bees. And everyone you come into contact with, they start to cross-pollinate. And so now everybody that you talk to, that you prophesy to, that you pray for, that you relate with, becomes very fruitful in their lives. Because you know, if you want fruit, doesn't just help you help you have that little blossoms, but there's no bees. You need the bees to cross pollinate, and then you can actually have a lot of fruit. Now, when I was a kid, uh, my dad bought us a cherry tree, and then our cherry tree didn't make cherries. Yeah, and every year we like we ex give it extra everything. Then we found out from a cherry tree place. Now you need a male cherry tree and a female cherry tree, else you're not going to get cherries. Anyway, so now on earth do you know if the next tree is now a male or a female, you know? But we bought the next tree and then the year after, we got a small little cherry tree. That thing, I mean, it made five blossoms. And then the other one, the old one is already big. That old one is full of cherries just because we had a small old cherry tree. And so the bees is like flying between those two cherry trees and making sure we're getting a lot of cherries. And I just felt that the Lord says he's going to use you. As, as someone that's going to draw those bees so they can be fruitfulness. God bless you. Well, it's a very cool word. It's so cool. It's like you have like this very big tree and then just like this little <laughs> tree made the difference. That's awesome. This next <laughs> word is for um, Sarah, Sidra Har. Yes. Oh, just say it with confidence. Strider. You have a very cool Love name. You. So, Strider, um, God loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was um, you were like on this horse and, and you were like, you know those joust, um, jousters, those those guys that did jousting? And I just saw how the Lord is giving you like this big long sword. Um, and I just feel the Lord says that you will know if it's me. And I, and I feel feel like this sword is actually a bit heavy so God had to like strengthen you um, over the past few years and then I saw a picture of how um, the next morning you woke up and then you had like all these um, all these um, staffs in front of you and, and it was like like actually quite a majority of them were actually fake fake swords but and, the, and then like the, this one was like real and i just feel the lord is really saying don't let your eyes deceive you um be led by my holy spirit i will show you which is the right sword to take for the day so i just really feel that god is really giving you um that wisdom of which sword to take and then lastly i, I just feel the lord says don't close your eyes. Um, keep your eyes fixed of where you go. When you're riding, um, I just feel the Lord says, keep your eyes fixed on me. God loves you so much, Sarad. God bless you. 
Awesome. Uh, Sunita, the, the thing that I saw, I'm sorry, I'm getting weird words today, but um, the, the, the word of the thing that I saw was um, someone who was supposed to like be editing like wedding pictures, or they're supposed to be working on, uh, uh, what do you call it? They're supposed to be working on like a project that's on a deadline. And then instead of working on the deadline, they were just sitting there with a drum and like just playing drums because they had this dream of becoming a drummer. And I, I feel like God just wants to remind you and encourage you that he hasn't forgotten about your dreams. Um, but he also wants to remind you to be diligent in this season. Yeah. And I, I, I know that feels like such a, it's, it's one of those words no one likes to get, but I feel like God just wants to remind you to be diligent. He hasn't forgotten about your dreams. Um, but in the same way that if the exam is due tomorrow, then that's what you need to do before tomorrow, you know? <laughs> and uh, I just feel like God wants to remind you to do the things in season, and He's going to help bring those dreams about uh, if you're faithful. So that's what I feel. Blessings. Evan, Sunita, please leave, or Sunita, was it Sunita? Yeah, yeah. Please leave us a comment. <laughs> this next one is for Brian. The Lord shows me how you are carrying this wood, and you are going to make a fire. And the Lord shows me how you made sure that the that the wood wasn't um, it wasn't wet. It was it was dry that you can make a good fire. And the Lord shows me how how you're making sure that when what you are collecting, that you can like uh, the Lord shows me how you kind of feed people like this this wood this this word something that keeps the fire going. The Lord saying that I am placing in you like like I can't I don't know what it's called but like that still singing but that that you will light that that spark and the Lord saying that he's going to highlight people saying I want you to go plant a seed light a spark st start up a hunger in them for for the word of the Lord and how you will be how you will be so filled from sharing and and like evangelizing be blessed hey so Brian my my brain is sometimes very creative so uh, and the Lord uses that also when you prophesy, because obviously what you do, you just you you just say, say to the Lord, Lord, fill my mind, and then the Lord show you stuff. And so I'll, I'm going to show you, tell you what I saw there. So this is going to be uh, a little bit weird, but it, I remember in the I think it was was it the the first Avatar movie? If I just now a long time ago. I mean, I watched that movie years ago. I I think so. What happened? The guy had to learn how to fly one of those, those dinosaur birds things, okay? And then, uh, you know, it was a big story because you got to like jump on it and then they fly quite fast down the hill before it actually starts going up. Um, anyway, but then there was like the whole tribe wasn't sure if they're going to accept this guy and obviously they betrayed or whatever. And then he went and he found that biggest old dragon of a dinosaur. And he jumped on that thing and he flew back. And then when he landed there, then everybody thought, okay, this guy must be the new tribe leader because look at this big old dinosaur. Now, I saw you <laughs> and your friends, you guys were doing business. But it's like as if you guys just get uh, uh, eaten by people that that do bad financial deals with you. It's like sharks that, that bite the guys that's trying to surf the waves. So you guys are doing business, you're trying to ride the wave, then the sharks try to bite you. Then I see, you go back at sea and you come back and you ride a shark, okay? And you got like a chain here around the shark's mouth and you're riding that shark. And I just felt that the Lord says, He's giving you the authority in the marketplace that even we, you know, the crooks, uh, and these guys that try to take advantage of people in the marketplace. The Lord says, I'm going to give you a strategy. How are you going to, to beat the market? And you're going to do very, very well. And the Lord is going to help you with your finances. So is that that must rank as my weirdest prophetic word I've given to someone. But um, uh, Brian, God bless you. So Johnson Anderson, uh, when I prayed about you, I, I saw that judge, and I'm trying not to think what's that judge's name. I just recently did a video about the 12 judges uh, that from the time of uh, Joshua until Samuel, there was 12 judges in Israel. Now, one of the judges, he had 30 sons. And what he did, he had these 30 sons rule 30 cities in Israel. And he had like this monopoly, how he could control uh, the finances. There was no war. There was actually prosperity in the, in the nation. But he used his sons 
as people that he could trust in key positions of leadership. And then I was praying about you and the Lord showed me how he's going to raise in your life sons. Now some of them is going to be natural sons. Some of them are going to be sons in business, sons in ministry, sons in life. And you're going to be able to put them in key positions because you know you can trust them. They're not going to steal the money. They're not going to betray you. And then you're going to build up this empire where you're going to bring peace and prosperity to everybody that associate with you. God bless you. Hi, Daniela. So um, as I read your name on the screen, um, I saw this picture of a, of a small house. Um, it's actually a very small house and you're tending the garden outside. Um, and I see that you feel peaceful, but like, so you look peaceful externally, but internally you're in this, you're in the struggle, um, with, with the, am I doing just the mundane? Am I doing enough? Um, is this going to be significant long-term? Um, and I just hear the Lord say to not negate the season that you're in. So even though the house feels too small or the garden feels, um, not big enough, um, and it just feels like you're busy with mundane, um, easy, simple, small things. I just feel the Lord say to do that diligently. Um, and I know the Bible also explains that if we are, if the Lord can trust us with small things and he can trust us with bigger things. Yeah. So in this season of small things, be trustworthy in those. Yes. Amen. That was powerful. God bless you. This next word is for Rita. Rita, the Lord loves you so much. And, and the picture God showed me for you was how, I've never seen a picture like this before. Um, the Lord showed me how you were like walking down like the uh, the, wet, the, the the aisle and you had your beautiful white dress and your flowers and it was like Jesus was there and it was like so you know like when they take photos of the groom of when he's like his facial expression and then you can see like he's crying or he's like happy but I just saw like it was like your eyes were fixed on Jesus and it was like that reaction of him crying and so happy to see you and I just feel the Lord says I love you and, and it's like it got God calls us the bride of Christ mm -hmm. and the Lord says I've created you for such a time as this and I want you to look at my face because when I see you I love you and I'm so happy to see you I just feel this is like this overwhelming love that God has for you so the Lord says look at my face God loves you so much Rita God bless you uh, Dio the word that I got for you is I just saw how the Lord wants to heal you from offense in the area of like I feel like there's been a lot of unfair things that's been happening and I think a lot of times when unfair things happen, it's so easy for us to get stuck in defense, uh, in offense. The word for offense in the Bible is literally, it's scandalon. It means, uh, it's literally the front part of a mousetrap. It literally means like it's a trap. And, um, and the thing that I feel like God wants, uh, like I think a lot of times we feel like, no, I, I don't want to let go of this. And I feel like God's trying to get you to not step on the mousetrap. And the reason for the forgiveness and reason to forgive is not because you're letting them get away with it, but it's literally because God doesn't want you to get trapped. Yeah. And I feel like God just actually wants to release you, even in some areas where you feel like, but but how am I going to deal with this? How Where is justice going to come from? And I feel like the Lord just wants to say, He's your defender, He's your judge, and your responsibility is to forgive them. So, yeah, blessings. That's what I felt. Awesome. Amen, Deo, you are held by the Lord, so do not fear. This next word is for Sharika. The Lord, oh, Sh Sharika? Did I say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Sharika. Yeah. Awesome. Um, the Lord is, 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 is telling you to, to breathe in and, and, and be seated in Him. The Lord says that He wants you to operate in a seat of rest that is not... Um, a seat of being of being lazy or just sitting still, but it is a seat of of I am in the Lord and He is in me. I am yoked with the Lord and He is my shepherd. He is the one that orders my steps that will guide me. And that is where the Lord wants you to operate, not in your own strength, but in in His strength. And and when we are when when we are seated. We have when we are seated in him, there is power, there is there is peace and there is strength because you are operating where he is and he is power. Be blessed. Hey, awesome Sherika. Uh, God bless you. It's always too good to see you. Uh, so um, when uh, when you see Sherika on there, you can know there's going to be a lot of comments uh, that's just positive and encouraging. So really, I appreciate it. Um, so um, I just want to say hello to 
Ari McFar McFarlane. Um, so when you see the Except a Miracle, um, uh, she's been probably maybe, Ari, how long have you been part of Unity with Heaven? Maybe two years? Um, long time. Yeah, but every time when, when I see your name, you feel to me like my mother. Like someone that's praying for me and is just covering me. And so Ori, I just want to honor you and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, and I believe that, that there's a Rachel anointing upon your life. Um, yeah, uh, Rachel. Yeah, yeah, there's like a Rachel anointing, also like a Anna anointing. So you know Anna in the Bible. Anna gave birth to Samuel. And Samuel was the prophet that the Lord used to move Israel out of bondage uh, into that place. And I, and I see that, that anointing on you to give birth to the prophetic is on your life. And so I so just want to honor you. Thank you very much, Ori. And you always support me so nicely. You just encourage me all the time. I just, I just say thank you. Thank you. All right. So Amanda Kutzer. So Amanda, you know, when you look at the tree, you can have a tree that grows like a bush or you can have the tree that grows with nice few branches and, it, and you can, it's easy to climb. You know, when kids are climb a tree, you like a tree that has like what, five or so branches and you can climb up and you can climb on the branches and you can go up to the top. So when I was a kid, we used to climb all the time because we had two or three nice trees in our yard where we could climb. And there was even a, a, a park with trees and we would climb in a tree also. So that, I love the climbing trees. And, and uh, what I saw, this tree has so many branches and, and it's not comfortable to climb in it because where are you going to stand? There's just branches all over the place. And it felt to me like you're trying to do too much. And so the Lord is coming today, even in this season, and He's pruning in your life. He's cutting off this branch and that branch. You say, but this branch is still healthy. It doesn't need cutting. So it's not just poisonous or toxic uh, branches that the Lord is cutting off. He's just cutting that tree and by the time he's done cutting you have a nice tree with about five nice big branches it's easy to, to climb in it makes a nice shade it's got a nice shape to it and you're not taking responsibility for everything but you got two or three things in your ministry that you really focus on and you do it really really well instead of trying to take the responsibility for 100 things so i felt the word is if i can just maybe say it in one word is simplify Okay, let go of everything and just allow the Lord to simplify your life. Thank you. God bless you. Mal Mal Malky, yes. <laughs> I was practicing your name the whole time when I saw your name on the screen. Um, I saw this picture of you driving in a, um, a very fancy sports car um, and you're going super fast. And then I'm like, okay, Lord, what do you want to say? Where do you want to go with this? And then I heard the Lord say um, that... You might be in a season where you feel like things are super fast paced, um, but there isn't necessarily anyone who's running with you, who's meeting your pace. Um, cause it often, cause sports cars don't often have a lot of seating for, for passengers. Um, I just want to encourage you. Do you feel like this is a season where people are gonna, are gonna send you friends, um, where the Lord's gonna send you friends and people to, to support you. Um, and more than that, to actually become lifelong friends. Um, to invest in relationships that are more than just work or more than just, oh, I need something from someone, but are actual intimate friendships um, where you could learn from them and they could learn from you. Amen. This next word is for Anami. Anami, God loves you so much. And I just really feel God is right now healing you from things that happened in the past. There's just complete healing that God is doing um, in your life. And then Anami, I just feel how the Lord is, is really calling you to, to really come into new like levels. Um, come in, this is time to go into new levels of His presence, um, to press in. There is like this open door and God is inviting you to walk through. I just feel the Lord says enemy your calling is to see my face to seek my face and there's an anointing of prayer intercession and when you come spend time with this presence when you go out you will be like it's like you're like a um you're like so energized you're like a full battery like ready to like um give and I, I just feel the Lord is really igniting new fire new joy new love into your life God loves you so much and, and I really believe that the, the, the things that you do is a beautiful fragrance of worship to God. God bless you. Awesome. Ingrid, uh, the word that I felt for you is I saw this uh, like uh, you, you were like sowing seeds, but it felt a lot more like, you know, those 
relate like the gambling thing where like the little wheel is spinning and you have to like place bets on different things and you're like i feel like i'm just gonna lose i feel like i'm just gonna lose i feel like i'm not trusting god i feel like everything that i go i might as well just be throwing throwing my money into a shredder at this point <laughs> like it's it's not doing anything and where there's almost this <laughs> little bit of skepticism with i don't know if i'm gonna trust god with this anymore uh, i think i'm just better off just holding on to it and I feel like God wants to change your picture of faith and change your picture of what trusting Him looks like and redeem a lot of areas where you feel like, I don't know if this is faith or this is just like spiritual gambling at this point. <laughs> and I feel like God wants to break uh, wrong perspectives and kind of give you a new picture of what it looks like to trust Him. Blessings. Amen, Ingrid. The evidence of things unseen. You must have faith. Um, this next word is for Anthony. Anthony, the Lord shows me how the Lord wants you to pray in tongues more. He wants you to stir up the gift of the Spirit inside of you and release it more. He wants, I see how you're even, you're singing in tongues. You are, you're praying for people in tongues. And the Lord says, I want you to pray those mysteries. Because when we pray in tongues, when we connect to the Holy Spirit, it is just His words. The Holy Spirit knows exactly what's coming out of our mouth because He's putting it there. The Lord says, I want you to release that. I think it was Paul that said, I'm so thankful. I pray in tongues more than all of you. And I'm, I'm hearing the Lord saying, pray in tongues. Stir up that gift. Do not neglect the power of when uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to put the words in your mouth. And in, even if the, if the time requires words, the Lord says, feel that call that's on your lips that the words that come out of your mouth, even when you are speaking in, in whatever language, that it will be from the Holy Spirit and, and not from you. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Renee. Renee, God loves you very much. And I just, the word that God showed me for you is superfoods. Like God is going to give you food, but it's going to be superfoods. And it, uh, food also represents the word of God. So I just feel the Lord says it's going to be super. And then um, Renee, I, I saw a picture of how your mom has been um, praying for you when you were like a baby and, and, and she's been like anointing you, praying, blessing you. And I just feel there's such a generational blessing upon your life that you will pray and bless your kids and then they'll their kids will bless and, and pray for their kids i just i just feel there's such a generational anointing of, of favor that god has placed in your life and then lastly i just saw how you were baking um bread and it, and then it was like so it's like god fed you but then he still were took faith and 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 gave action you like made this bread and you know how like the whole house will smell like so like amazing of fresh bread i just feel like that's what you do when you come into places you really bring like a fragrance of god's presence when people see you they see like they feel the presence of god so i just feel the lord is just encouraging you and reminding you that you're a character of the uh, you you are a carrier of the presence of god and then lastly places where there is drought god is called you to be a fountain so I, I, just, I just want to encourage you even though you're like in a place of droughts and it's like it's like a desert God is calling you to be a fountain and you will overflow God bless you Janelle um, I saw this picture um, or when I read your name I wanted to say it in Afrikaans and then I heard the Lord say there's something on language regarding your name um, and I don't know if you often struggle to communicate with either the Lord or with people but I just want to encourage you in your conversation with both, like in your conversation with the Lord, there's no need for adequate fancy language. Mm. Um, you can just talk to him, like be raw with your emotions, be raw with your thoughts, because the Lord wants to get to your heart. So even though we try and disguise it with, with pretty words or we try and make it sound more poetic, the Lord just kind of wants to know what, what, what we're thinking and what we're feeling. Um, so I just want to encourage you with that and even in your in your language you use with people um, when you're speaking with people be confident in what you say um, and I don't know if you're in a country or in a space where you experience language barriers but I just want to come encourage you that because you're com you're comfortable and confident in your conversation with the Lord that confidence um, spills over into your conversation with people so the more you get confident with sharing your emotions or your thoughts or um, your feelings with the Lord the easier it will become to communicate with people um, and like Kimi said, speaking in your prayer language is so valuable and so powerful. So I just want to encourage you in, in situations where you don't know or you feel anxious or you feel overwhelmed. Or even when it feels like you've ran out of words to, to speak to the Lord but you still want to continue praying, just continue in your prayer language. Janelle, I just add, 
I, I saw a sun and a moon and the Lord said to me, the sun is a picture of spiritual authority in your life. And I really believe the church, uh, the spiritual structure where you are right now, that the Lord is really putting genuine spiritual authority in your life. And that's going to cause you to, to grow and to flourish. But it's also, you know what the moon does? The moon reflects the, the sun light that comes from the sun. And so in the same way, you're going to start to reflect the glory of God also through your life. So family, it was a big pleasure for us to minister to you. We ministered to 40 people tonight. Um, so it was, I, I loved every moment. I hope you were able to receive some of the anointing there. We as a team, uh, it's always good for us because it's like we're going to the spiritual gym. We exercise our, our spiritual muscles to be able to minister to you. And we also feel the anointing of God it touches us. And uh, like me personally, I really need a lot of anointing on me uh, for healing. And so I just feel every time I come and I prophesy to people that the Lord touches me. And I say, I, I want to encourage you, go back to your word, listen to it, draw on the anointing that's there, and also write down your word. Um, we're going to be back again on Friday to minister. Love each one. God bless.